Hey there, DeFi Deluxers, how's it going? And thanks for joining us for another episode. For this week's video, I thought we would run through a tutorial since we haven't done one of those in a while. There's a very cool product that just came out by one of my favorite DeFi apps, Instadap, called DeFi Simulation. So if you've ever played around with any of the various DeFi apps on one of the Ethereum test nets like Coven or Rapston, then you may be familiar with the process of going to a faucet getting free, you know, fake Ethereum money to play around with. And it's fun because it acts the same way as the main Ethereum network. So you can do all the same things that you want to do, but it's fake. So this is a very neat product that does a similar thing where it gives you fake Ethereum to play around with and execute some of the complex DeFi operations that Instadap has to offer. It's a gas free environment where you don't have to spend any real money. Apparently, it's powered by Tenderly app, which I'm not actually familiar with, but they describe themselves as having real-time alerting, analytics, and troubleshooting tools for smart contracts. If you're not familiar with Instadap, it's a very powerful tool that is more than just DeFi management. They are a sort of aggregator, similar to something like DeFi Saver, where they have implemented lots of different apps into the protocol. So let me get my video out of the way here and I'll show you what I mean. You can use Maker, Compound, Avi or Avi version 2, Uniswap, and I'm sure they're going to be adding many more apps in the future. To simulate a DeFi strategy, all you have to do is head over to your account and toggle on simulate transaction mode. It'll tell you it's running in simulation mode and it gives you 100 ETH to test with and it will give you a half an hour to use it. I'm not sure what the timer is all about as you can just reset it when it hits zero and do it again. So it's just maybe, you know, more of a warning that you're not using real money. But now we are in simulation mode. And if you go back out, you'll notice that we now have $250,000, 100 ETH. So now we can do whatever we want with it. And I think one of the most handy things to do use this for is for your own portfolio, right? Any strategies that you want to implement in your portfolio, you can test out here first. So let's start with MakerDAO, since this is one of the most popular apps in DeFi for lending and borrowing. So let's say I wanna buy a boat. I have $250,000 worth of Ethereum. I could cash some of that out and buy the boat, but I don't wanna spend my Ethereum because I believe it's going to grow. I also don't want to take out a traditional loan from a credit union or a bank because I don't want to pay that crazy interest rate back. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to supply some ETH as collateral over here. You get some different choices in the type of ETH that you want to supply. I'm not really going to go deep into what those mean for this example, but let's just go ahead and pick ETH A. I want to supply not all of my ETH, but let's say I just want to supply 75 ETH to lend out. So I'm going to go ahead and supply that. And you'll see I have an updated position now here of $185,000. That is now locked in a smart contract and being loaned out and receiving a yield. And you'll see that I still have a balance of $62,000. Now I want to borrow that $25,000 to get a tax-free loan. So I'm going to go ahead and hit borrow. I'd like to borrow $25,000. And I know that it's safe because it's much less than my collateralization. You always have to have at least a 75% collateralization ratio. And what that means is that you can't borrow up to, you know, $180,000 worth of ETH because if ETH were to crash a little bit, then you're, you're going to be liquidated. So you only want to go below 75% and even 75 is too high. You really only want to do 50% max, which means if you are putting in $100,000, you should really only borrow $50,000 max. Our handy dandy Instadap tells us that this is safe without even having to do any kind of calculations. You're going to hit borrow. And now you can see we have borrowed our $25,000. We already have our full loan. The $25,000 dies in our wallet and it's at a 5.5% borrow rate. Now you can do all sorts of things with this loan. If you go here, you can do vault automation, although this is actually not supported in simulation mode, but it is a really cool feature of Instadap. What vault automation does is watch your loan to make sure that you don't get liquidated and it 
saves it from liquidation by actually paying back your debt into your loan as needed. Really cool feature. Or if I wanted to, I could withdraw this loan by trading it for cash and cashing out in Coinbase and buy that boat I was talking about. You can also leverage that if you want. So if you wanted to go along on ETH, you could just swap this die back into ETH and essentially uh, leverage your position. And that's just Maker. If you go over to Compound, you'll see there's a lot more you can do. So let's say we're done with this loan. We've done what we whatever we want to do with it. We're ready to go ahead and pay it back and withdraw. So you can do that all in one transaction. You can say, I'm going to pay back all of my die, and I want to withdraw 75 ETH as well. We hit payback and withdraw, and boom, it does it both at once. So that just merged two transactions into one. Really cool. Saves gas, went through two smart contracts, and now here we are back at our original balance of 252000 So next, let's head on over to Avi version 2 and see what we can do here. So you'll see when you go to Avi, they have all sorts of collateral you can provide for for any of the tokens you may be holding. And I really like that they put the supply and borrow rights right on it here. This is a handy conversion because you can look at what it's going to cost you to do something like leverage. For example, if I am supplying USDT at a 14% rate annually and I turn around and borrow against that USDT using DAI, that's going to be a 17% 0.21% rate, which means if you subtract 14.58% from 17.21%, 263 is the yield he's going to have to make up to break even with that loan. So really, all he has to do with that loan is make more than 2.3% yield on something, and he will now be making profit on said loan. When you borrow on Avi, you actually have the choice of having a variable APR type or stable for your loan. So let's try it out. I'm going to go ahead and supply a bunch of my handy ETH here. Go ahead and supply half of it. So as you can see, I've got my 50 ETH staked here and it's being let out at a 0.06% rate. I want to borrow some Curve. Curve has a really good borrow rate of 1.78%. That's all it costs to borrow Curve. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow about $50,000 worth of Curve, which is about 18,000 Curve. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow that 50 grand worth of Curve. What's cool about this is that I'm loaning it at such a low rate, and all I have to do is get over that 1.8% borrow rate on this to make profit. So if this were real Curve money that I had just borrowed, I could go ahead and head over to Yearn.Finance. I could go to their vaults. And I could take that curve and stake it in the curve vault to earn 17% APR. So if you take that 17.21% minus the 1.8% that it's going to cost me to borrow it, you'll see I'm making 15% interest. It's not free, right? Because it's all backed by collateral, but it's a very cool product and you can see how this is very useful for traders and yield farmers and lenders and borrowers and the like. Also a good site to check here is DeFiRate.com. This will show you all the going rates for the different DeFi apps. And this might be a really good app for some people who are hesitant to get into DeFi but think it's cool and want to try it. And one thing that's important to note, this is all just going through your MetaMask account. So everything is connected through there. Play around and you will see just how easy DeFi is and why this is going to eat traditional finance. Well, that's all I have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching and please hit the subscribe button below and hit thumbs up to like this video. It really helps out the channel and helps the YouTube algorithm point you towards me and all of my fresh content. Remember, as always, this is not financial advice, so please do not use more than you can afford to lose and I will see you next week.